I think like half of my life I spent front of the parliament. Many blood dropped there. Many generations struggled for their freedom, as we see from the history. And sometimes it's like, you know, giving the hope and sometimes it's killing the hope at the same time as you see like the last generation spend their life to like, you know, give us the bright future and we are doing the same on the same spot. And it's like some kind of mystic in my head, you know, like how many energy can spot in that one specific place. And when I'm just like randomly walking there, I hate that space a lot and that area as well because it's always giving me this anxious uh, feelings especially after this protest because I was like beaten, tear gas. This was a hell experience. I never experienced anything like that to just you know don't be able to breathe for five or ten minutes you can breathe but you cannot feel that you're breathing after this pepper spray this year in may i protested because i felt like if i'm not gonna do that that this is the end and i'm gonna lose my country forever my birth name is luca but most i don't use it also all of my friends calling me my stage name my performer name, which is Lucrezia. Since childhood, like we were get, gathering at my friend's place, her mother always calling us the uh, names, which was from the historical memoirs or from history. I was choosing to call Lucrezia Borgia because she was telling me like I was the most beautiful and most villain. <laughs> I'm a queer and I'm considering myself as a non-binary. I was one of the first performers who did drag in Georgia. And when we started this, you know, I lost my friends. I lost my family because they were not understanding what I was doing. They were against that. Even my boyfriend in that period didn't came on my show because he was ashamed. Can you imagine? <laughs> like, yeah, because what's this considered if you're a come out gay? It's uh, super uh, hard to date a guy like that or a girl like that. Not a lot of people was like accepting you. So even in the club scene, It's always like that. Fairy tales at night, like you're getting dressed, then you know, like you're gonna have seven or eight hours of happiness, of freedom, of your expression. Then you see the sunlight in summer on a window at the club, and fairy tale is getting end. Like you're going out of the reality where people still staring at you. It's not safe for queer people in Georgia because as much as we fight, we're still under the shadow. We need to hide and have these uh, walls around us to protect ourselves. It's just the clubs or bars, queer friendly bars who, where you can go and hang out and that's all. When you're leaving that safe zone, outside it's like, you know, like a wild. I don't want to live that way. I like to go out and walk freely outside because why I should like spend all my life in these four walls. Nobody could choose the life we have right now. Nobody could want to hide. Nobody could want to have like less expression in their life and less uh, incomes or less life support. Because if I had a choice, I will never choose to be born queer in Georgia. I think like people right now have all the hopes on the elections, but before elections we are into like the battle because they're gonna take uh, this anti-LGBTQ plus <laughs> propaganda law and this might be like super harsh for queer people.
the law says that you cannot uh, promote uh, queer things. I mean, like uh, movies, theaters, looks. You might get arrested. The same thing. What's happening in Russia right now? We clearly see how this law is also connected to the foreign uh, agents law. So we see like uh, from which direction it's coming in our country and what direction our government wants to take, which we are against. I never had this narrative in my head that I want to leave Georgia because I love my country, I love my people, but uh, I also want to have future. If uh, anti-LGBTQ propaganda law will come in the final phase, I don't know if I will have like that much power to fight anymore without support. This will be the revolution of thinking for yourself, of having your own opinion. I was hoping that if it's a revolution, it's going to be a revolution for queer people as well, involved in it, because I see how many queer people standing there, protesting there, non-stop. Some people still had this narrative, oh, you are in a struggle all your life. You know, you, you're get used to it. Nothing's gonna change. And I was so upset when I was trying to explain that we're not born for struggle. We're like the regular people who wants to have the same uh, rules and same life as they live. I hope that in an October, when the election is going to be over, I will wake up in free Georgia, in free Sakharov all over. People just love each other, respect each other. Whose main goal is like to get freedom of expression, of life and self. But right now, it, our country is under the clouds and we cannot see the proper weather. Mm-hmm.